and each person has got a role. And assuming the fourth person is a tackle player on the ground who presents the ball, this is the tackle player. This is the tackle player. Right? So, we're assuming the tackle player on the ground. So one of our players is already on the ground, and they present <coughs> the ball here, just like you should. And turn back and present the ball. So, uh, can we hit the guys out we had just before lunch on that clean out technique? Just to, yeah, let's get four guys out. That's six. Two, doesn't matter. You just sit down. I need you again anyway, but let's keep four guys. No. Okay, let's come over here. Over here. So, uh, <clears throat> people down on one knee. Come here. People down on two knees. Yes, you can decide. You can go right beside. You sit down. Sit down. Okay, sit down. You go. Go up here. So now. Okay, you go and go to the post position. Right? You go into the post position, you know, you're going to take, take the football there, stop, perfect. So, first man, what's his job? Clean out. Clean out. Alright? Just go clean out and then stop. Go clean out. And stop. stop. Yeah? Do not kick the ball. Do not fall over the bag. Bag's big. Do not pass goal. Do not collect $200. All right. Slow so take them over there. Go. Take them away. What's the problem now? Well, it's there. It's so open again. It's right there. So the next person is going to come in and try the same. But we have a plan. When you see that guy being cleaned out, we get the next person up into that space. And we call this player the combat. All right? Because they have a pretty combat position. And what they do is they jump into that space where the, where the thread was and they stay there like that. All right? So they take up that space. So you take up that space. Come back. There. Now if the next person comes in now, they can't get out the wall. They can't access the wall, right? Understand that? So we won the combat zone. If he's not here at the time, go out. The next person comes in, and we have to do another clean out. But that can go on all day. Can't really, but it's not a waste of time. So we've done the clean out, take the combat. Combat. There. Now, the combat should just go in front of the ball and stay in a strong position so that nobody can move them. If you're soft in the combat zone, the reason it's called a combat zone is the opposition are going to come in here and try and drive you off the ball. So you've got to be strong. Head up on the swivel. Walk across the ground, keep watching for things coming, okay? Ready to plant them all. Well, here's the deal. That ball is kind of supported now. See, you can perform a time. He might be there. That ball can be technically out of the rock and ready for the set play on. But with another plan, he's called the firewall. And the firewall comes in and he joins on here like that and he stabilizes the whole thing. Come into the firewall. Now get in a strong position, what I would suggest the best position is for that foot forward and lock onto his hip and stay strong so you can't move. Stay strong, good. That is the perfect walk. Because the halfback can now come along. Where are you going? You're supposed to be in the rock. Took time out. No time out for a rock. <laughs> Alright? The halfback can come along, play the ball away. What do they want to do? All right. Come again. Yep. Yeah. As we know, this has to happen quickly. I took like three minutes to explain that. This has to happen in two seconds. So, back. <coughs> Come over here. Down on one knee. Okay. Down on two knees. Sitting down. All right. When I say go, you can go. You call your roll. Your clean out. You're coming back to your firewall. Try and post the ball. Ready? Yeah. Go! Come back! Clean out! Firewall! Oh, right. well, we managed to get the ball on the other side of the bag. That's a better trick. If you do that again, you should be on TV. Do it again? You will be. Ready?
There's only one problem. Remember we said earlier about the importance of not kicking the ball, not falling over the bag. And you can have the prettiest rock in the world, but if the ball rolls off the side, it's play on. And then you're in trouble. You've got three guys that are rock, and the person from 15 years off field with four. We do one more time. Now, what we're trying to get here is a fair bit of aggression. You can't rock kind of soft and, you know, cuddly. That's not rock. Rock is aggressive. When you're in there, you're doing a job. Everybody has to do their job. Like the first person is clean out, second person is combat club versus square one. Call those rules early on your way to the rock, not when you get there. Okay? And then you execute your assignment accurately and aggressively. Go! Call back! Clean up! Clean up! Burn wall! All right. No. It's important. This is really important. It's important as a combat. Just come up again. I'm, I'm going to throw this so we don't have to go through it again. As a combat, no matter what happens here, do not go too far past the ball. You go past the ball there. All right, now when you fire the ball, what's the point of the fire ball? Protect the ball. So if he goes too far, he can't protect the ball. So come back. Come back just in front of the ball. Get him up the back. Get him up the back. Come back just in front of the ball. Fire the ball. Now the ball is in the rock. So don't go too far. All right, last time. We're we'll just going to do everything go wrong here before we go back. This is all planned. We can plan this over lunch. Not. Ready? Great. Call that. Clean up. Fire wall. Says ball. All right. Okay. You play soccer on weekends as well, at least? All right. I'm joking. You get the idea. So, that is the perfect rock. Now, what we're going to do now is we're with the coaches, and we have four people. Coach oh, stagger them, so I like to stagger them by having one the, the cleaner on one knee, combat on two knees, the fire will sit down, so don't all get through all together. Call your roll of the way and win the perfect one. So the clean out combat fire one. Alright, let's get that one right. And please do not kick the bag, do not kick the ball, do not fall up, do not fall down. Okay? Stay on your feet. I want to talk about a couple of things. When you've got the idea, you've got the three rolls, you've seen out combat firewall. You need to recognize that those rolls are vitally important for a number of reasons. One, if you miss an assignment, if you're the clean out and you don't clean out the track, you fail to do it, they'll get the football. If they don't get the football, the person who was the combat now becomes the clean out. And the person who was the firewall has to do the combat and then we put another player on the rock. So we burn resources out of rock because somebody missed an assignment. And even when you're in there, you can't take a time out on the rock until the ball is away. And it happens, just to just go with the guys we had there for simple sake. Let's get out there quickly, set up that rock again. You know, we've got the clean out combat fire rock. Oh, you know. Like you kick the bag in, you know, is this it's such a kick of a bag. All right, so here's a clean out combat fire rock. Now, even when that ball is there, the opposition are going to come and test you. They're going to get in, they're going to start, and if you go relax, just go relax, go down to the sock. They come in here and they start this stuff, and the thumb half is picking the ball up and somebody falls on top of them, and have you seen that? Yeah. That's when the uh, combat and the firewall take a time out at the rock. All right? So if it turns out that, come back again, just go, just come back down again. All right? Just go off to be a threat, who's a threat? All right, but go in, just go into position. If for some reason, stop, he misses his assignment. Let's say he goes through a saddle roll and slips off, slip off. Then he's got to do the clean out. Yeah. He's got to do the combat, and then somebody else is going to come over the firewall. So now we're burning resources. Now, that's why that combat zone is important. Now, I just want to show you something over here. Combat zone, you need to get in a very strong position. I, I don't like being in the combat zone like this, with your feet level. Can you see that? Because you can fall forward too easily. Take your, put your feet square there to get into the combat zone. So I can very easily, if these feet are square, I can push them over. See like that? It's so easy, look. Alright? I put one foot slightly in front of the other. Now all you need to do is get kind of heel align with your toe, head up and drop your hips. Put your hands up like that. Now, I should be able, no, don't let me do that. Don't let me do it. Come on. Stay strong. Now, don't, come on. That's, that's better. So I should have to push them all like that. Come on, keep your position. Keep your, all right? 
So let's do that drill now in a moment. Get that combat position strong and get your the parents are rolling. They can push you from anywhere and you can't move. See what I'm saying? And if you get that presence of mind here, that's the kind of combat saw. You can play combat. If you're in there like this and the wind blows the wrong way, you fall over, that's not much use. So the next trail, I want you to go back. For the first few minutes, get into twos, practice that combat position, and have your partner push you unexpectedly and see if you not fall over. And then we do, on the second, when I blow the whistle next time, go back to the rock, as we have here, and make sure the combats are good. And what we're going to do, uh, one more person out. All right, over here. Back again. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you're standing up. You're down on two knees. Down on two knees. You're down on one knee. You're down on two knees. You're sitting down. So, you're both, you're both against these guys. Clean out, come back, firewall. And then you test the firewall. Go, go, come back. Go, come, come back, come back. Come back. When I say go, you test the firewall. You drive in and try and upset it. Go! Come back. Clean up. <laughs> firewall. There you go. All right, you can, you can bring some more heat in that. Yeah. All right, bring a little heat on the counter rock, okay? So that first drill is get that in individual position in the combat zone and let your partner try and push you over. And don't fall over. When I go the whistle, let's go back to that drill. It's three against two. It's important we stagger when we arrive. The poacher's on his feet. You're on two knees down. One knee, two knees sitting. And then we come in the right order. Call out your roll. Go! Poacher, come back! Get out! Now where the ball is. Where's the ball? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. You seen it? Uh, not on me. I'll have one tomorrow. Okay. okay. three people, but if three people don't go, we got a problem, and if four people go or five people go to the rock, there's another problem. There's too many people at the rock. So you've got to make sure it's only the relevant people that go there. Okay. Um, let me show you a drill we're going to do now. <laughs> 